Um, yeah, of all weeks, I suppose it is um, hugely important um, that everyone is sh- singing off the same hymn sheet, I suppose. Like, we had a lot of guys in inter- international camp coming back in, fitting in. Um, they don't have that much time to prepare. Um, but we've had a really good block of games here and, and, and we've we put some, some good scores and some good wins in and it's up to them to kind of to fit into what what we've been doing so it's it's really important for them to to get straight back into it like an, I know being in international camp it's very it's very attritional not just physically but mentally um and to not get a bit of a break after it it's 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 very hard for them but it's just something we got to do it, it's that's the, that's the nature of the season I suppose um like they will get their their breaks when, when they can but um it's 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 a massive weekend for us for, in Europe um the way the way that it that it's that it's structured now, and um, we obviously only have four games, so it's every every point is so important for us at this stage. But they don't come really much bigger than do they? Than Tottenham France taking on a Montpellier team who turned over Clermont uh, over the course of the weekend, also. Yeah, they don't come bigger physically either. I don't think <laughs> with 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 the uh, with the Montpellier pack, um, we're coming up against. Uh, a team that is physically big, uh, backline. They're quick. They're fast. Um, I think they've had a bit of a disrupted season as well. They've, kind of, I think, they've had two or three games postponed. Um, I think the where they are in the league doesn't really show how they've kind of gone. I think they're they're a fantastic team, and as you said yourself, they they uh, they overcame Claremont at the weekend, which is a very, which is a big feat in Claremont as well. So they kind of seem to be clicking at the right at the right time, to be honest. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, um, and as I said, it's a pretty big feat to go away to France in your first game and away in Montpellier. It's it, it's pretty big, and as you say, there's only four games, so we need every point we can, and we need every every win we can. And like it, as I said again, it, we're away in France. Do you know what I mean? So it's 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 um, it's going to be tough. I feel good, yeah, I feel good on myself and my body, um, you, um, like, I, I kind of feel like in Leinster we've been, we've been, we've been taking along very nicely here, we've been scoring a lot of good tries, we've been, um, we've been, we've been obviously playing pretty well, um, physically I think we've been fronting up as well, so yeah, no, I think, uh, I feel great. Um, I feel reju- kind of not not rejuvenated, but I think um, we had the last weekend off, obviously with the postponed Scarlet game. But I think everyone's kind of kind of feeling good themselves. Yeah. yeah. Some people would say that you know Leicester have been in third gear in the Pro 14. If the South Africans do come in, do you think you'd have to go up a couple of gears again? Uh, we've been in third gear, have we? <laughs> Getting five bonus point wins out of five games. Um, uh, I wouldn't say we've been in third gear. I thought I thought we've been doing doing, doing pretty well, to be honest. Um, but yeah, no, like obviously, whatever happens in the future happens in the future. It's 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 you, you've heard it before. We 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 kind of take each game as it comes, and we and we we don't really look that that far into the future, to be honest. But yeah, like uh, I don't really see that we've been in third gear, to be honest. I'd, I'd say it's a bit of both to be honest it's 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 obviously we get a chance to rejuvenate we get a chance to rest our bodies after after five hard weeks we we we, we get a chance to um obviously just take a rest but I, on on the other side of it we're not 
we would have liked a match to kind of prepare for to prepare for, for a big game. Obviously, and again, Montpellier got a chance to to go to Claremont and get a really good game against them. Um, but yeah, as like it's it's a bit of both to be honest. It's 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 not one or the other. Um, we would have liked to get a, a little bit of match sharpness, I suppose. Um, but it's just something that we kind of had to deal with in 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 these in these kind of in these times, I suppose. Um, yeah, it like ah, I don't know if it'd be a bonus or not. Like I like obviously I know going to France in the past they they're obviously very proud at home and and the crowds are are brilliant over in France. You can they, they really kind of get behind the teams and and they always have the drums in the crowd and the singing in the crowd and um it it, it I don't know to be honest. We'll we'll see. We we obviously miss our crowds in the RDS and stuff. Um, but it uh yeah like. <laughs> it remains to be seen, to be honest. We we'll, like we'll, we'll obviously play as it, as it happens. Like, Uh, well, I wasn't speaking to him during the camp. Obviously, he, he, he had a few, a few uh, bigger things in his mind. But he rang me before b- before the squad was announced, and he just said, "You're on the periphery, and just keep on going." I suppose. Um, from my point of view, I'm just going to try and play as best I can for Leinster. I think I've been, I, I feel I've, I've been going pretty well. Um, if something happens in the future, it happens in the future. To be honest, I'm, I'm happy enough with where I am in in my game and 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 how I've gone. To be honest. Um, if I don't get another Ireland cap, I've I've got I've got seventy so far. Like I'm I'm, I'm happy enough with my career to, at, at the minute. But like again, if I'm needed, I'll put my hand up. I'll I'll do everything I can. But um, for the minute, my my um, my mind is in Leicester. Okay, and um, is there anybody who can focus that? I mean, obviously you'd like to get back up to to the No, I never get I never get pissed off. No, like it's uh, the the only way that you can get in back the only way that you can get back into an Ireland squad is by playing well for your province. Um and and that's all I've been trying to do. Um as I said, if I get if I get picked again, I'll I'll obviously put my hand up and I'll, and I'll play for anyone that, that picks me to be honest. Um but no, like no, I don't get pissed off. I like I enjoy seeing Ireland doing well. I, I enjoy seeing lads getting new caps. I, I like I I obviously and I I've, I've enjoyed being at home, kind of watching the games as well, looking on as well, uh, seeing young lads go well. Um, but yeah, no, I'd never be I'd never be frustrated at home, kind of watching the games. No. So you're not trying to run. Look, I have a character who mentioned maybe that he found it hard to watch Ireland almost leaving the All Blacks back in 2013. That's not your style. Uh, he was retired when that happened, though. <laughs> I'm not retired. <laughs> Thank you.